What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 4 of my FC24 Create a Player Career Mode. We have Zaki Levchenko here and last episode he kind of had a stinker, scored only 2 goals whereas in the first and second he got 8 goals altogether. Preston, Stoke City, Sunderland and QPR are the 4 teams that we're going to be facing this month and I think that we should have, I mean, we should be able to run through these easily. Our last match was a loss against Swansea City, so we are now back in second position. Leeds have now overtaken us with three points. So we're going to be hiring a podiatrist because apparently it's for our feet, the tools of your trade, so the game says. And, you know, I think it's just going to be something that I would do. I don't even know if footballers actually do that, but that takes a chunk out of our money. It's now time for the match against Preston. They are fifth position just four points behind us so this is a pretty important match that i would have to play the full one off so let's hope that we actually do get a win out of this today to the midlands we're here at the king power stadium i'm derek ray and sitting alongside me ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis is stuart robson that's a good looking ball could be in here and a decent save full credit can they create something from here And ready to strike. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Cheers, Alex. Nice-looking move, this. This could be the equaliser. Well, that's a good reflection, Thank you, Alex. Uh, Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. And a fine stop. Remarkable save. Yes, again, inspirational. One minute of time added on for stoppages here. Zaki. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the King Power Stadium. So the ball is moving again, and work to do for Leicester in this second half. Well, the fans really want him to shoot, and it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well read to put an end to that attack. And passing it through. Really sound defending. Well, winning back possession. Brown under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him takes aim well it looked as though it had a chance of going in Winks Zaki dangerous looking attack this could be it and it is he's done it surely a case of game over well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. The pitch here to block out all the possible passes. The keeper does get the ball and that is our win. So we have come back. Hopefully, this means good things for the episode. Because that is a goal and an assist. And I thought the second goal that we scored, it was, we were very much in in that attack wherever the want that made it happen so we get two out of three of the objectives and obviously we were we're never going to get these conversion rates me to be honest never going to happen because i shoot on sight and yeah 
and it's not always going to enter. I just realized that my headphones weren't plugged in, so that much I just played, the audio is going to be so fucked up, but I'll try and fix it so that um, you guys would not be annoyed by that. So I might possibly have to like cut out the commentary that I ran on that match. I know, but now we have the match against Stoke City. What do we have here? The reading book by Wealthy Entrepreneur. It's not really important for investments. Okay, I already have one. So I'm not really bothered about that right now. But Stoke City is another team that's at the top of the table. They are currently fifth right now while we are um, still second because Leeds United won their match and they are still three points ahead of us. So this match against Stoke City, it's away from home. So I'm, I honestly just want to sim it. It's probably a bad idea to do this, but... Let's just hope for the win. Yes, we do. We don't score, but Dakar and Cody do get the goals for the team. And I have to say, I actually really like the fact that the training is at the beginning of every match. So it's not just every week. So, I mean, it's actually more realistic this way. And our player actually gets to grow faster, kind of, which isn't exactly the most realistic. But I think it's, it's, it's just better than the way it was last season, last game, I guess. So now we have QPR, and QPR is where the table exactly. I think I could, I could have just checked it over there. They are 20th. They are dead, like they are at the bottom, really. So I'm not really going to prioritize this match. So hopefully we don't get fucked up and we are away from home. So let's hope that we do get the win as well. And yes, we do. We don't score again, but Cody and Nidhi do, and we get the win. It's a slim win because we actually came back from behind and we have won the match 2-1. Alright, so I'm going to be simming a lot of the matches because I'm trying to like, I don't want to spend the, the entire, like the majority of this series in the first season because I mean the player is not that good, it's not that good yet, so a lot of things that, a lot of interesting things are going to be happen, happening, so I want to try and sim through the first season as fast as possible. Well, we're not sim, but like just like move through it as fast as possible. So we have Sunderland right now and they are not anywhere at the top. They are actually 16th position, so it's another match I'm going to sim. But before I sim that, let's look at what we actually have. This is the last match for this month. And next up, we have Birmingham City and Millwall. Then Middlesbrough, Ipswich, um, QPR again, and then Blackburn Rovers. So I don't know if I'm going to reach the end of December by, like, by the end of this episode, but I don't actually want to sim a lot because it actually drops down the amount of goals that my player scores. He's still top scorer, joint top scorer with Patrick Bamford. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm really not expecting my player to get like 30 goals in his first season. That's not going to happen. Besides, um, his I think his attacking position that makes them score in Sims. I don't know. Someone told me that before, but I don't know how true that is. Though, but um, yeah, I'm talking too much now. Let's just go straight into the match. I don't want to do the table highlights because those have fucked me up so many times. We draw this one. So yeah, Leeds United did not drop points at all in those three matches we just played. So they are now five points ahead of us again. Like I said, my goal is really not to to um, win the league. I mean, if we get promoted, that's good enough for me, but because, I'm a, I mean, my player is really not devoted to Leicester City. It's just it's just our starting club. It's just the team that found our talent and nurtured us. So, I mean, yeah, we're supposed to care, but, you know, it's a game, so I don't really care. I just want to get the fuck out of the team as fast as possible. So, I mean, if it's a team in a um, higher league, then so be it. But right now, I just want to do the most that I can for my player, and that is following these objectives. We are supposed to go to Real Madrid, but the issue is that we do not have... We're, we're most likely not going to give up the 36 goals. And for the recommended teams and all, we... Uh, for Sheffield United, we are basically through with the goal scored option. The win player of the month that's optional, so we are def we can go to Sheffield United if you want to. That's in the Premier League. And then Leverkusen, um, get a hat-trick. We've done that. Chip shot goals too. We just need two chip shot goals to be able to get into Leverkusen for next season. At the Athletic Club, we need first-time shot goals, we need two more of that, and we'll be able to get into that team for the next season. So, between those three clubs, I'm most likely going to go to Leverkusen. I'm most likely going to go to, Lever to Leverkusen, so I have to work on my chip shot goals if I want to get to this team. And we have a long time to go, so... I mean, it's not really something that I would, I must do, to be honest, because we are pretty much already... Sorry, let, let me just go back. We're pretty much already good for Athletic Bilbao and other teams might actually come for for us. Maybe it's maybe it's um depending on how we play and all. Maybe. But I mean we're good to go for the top because we're, we're most likely going to get up to three first time show goals by the end of the season. Alright so up next we have Birmingham City to play and it's, I'm going to play the highlights of it but I if if the the game fucks me up I'm never going to touch this highlight again. 
Because I mean, at the beginning of the of the series, I mean, it was good. Everything was going good. We were actually scoring goals and highlights, but in the last episode, that's when highlights really fucked us up. And I really didn't like that. But I mean, I was like, to play it, but I just won't play it in a while if we actually get fucked up in this match. All right, so I accidentally skipped the the first the objectives rather. Something that might be good for us here. I don't know why the hell I did that, but that was good. He's saving us from offside. I have to keep us safe. That 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 shot was so weak. But we have a solo run right now for whoever this is. And let's just hope that our player, our player does get the chance and go here. Are we missing this? Are we? No, we're not. That's the first goal of the of the match. And um, yeah, it's a it's a it's, it's a it's a really good goal, really good finesse goal from our player. I think that's one more finesse goal for one of the objectives we're supposed to get for one of the big teams that, we, that recommended for us. But Birmingham City attack. Mm, let's see. All right, so I mean, all we have to do is shoot here. To be honest, I don't know what the hell this position this position is for from the defenders, but. All right, that is a good, that's good work. All right, can we do something here? That is perfect. Ah, no, come on, that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, that was bad, that was bad. But that was definitely born out of frustration. What can I do here? Oh! Oh my days, that was beautiful! What? That is the first time I'm scoring something as beautiful as that. I'm so sad that I can't get the fucking replays. Alright, so my, my, my job is to stop this as best as possible. Oh my god, what the hell is that? How can that even happen? What? Come on, come on, keep on getting it. Thank you so much. Yes, Daka. Go, come on, you got this. Where's my player? My player is not doing anything for some reason, and of course that just gets fucked up. I should have just passed back. To be honest, I don't know why. I don't know why I did it. No, let's get it over to him. And what can you do? Nothing. Can you really get this? Well, I mean, we still have the ball there, but okay. Um, personal opportunity for Birmingham City. I mean, is it possible for us to get a hat trick in this match? I, I highly doubt that. But let's just. Oh my god. They actually they absolutely did me there, but good. No corner, or rather, or, or, or no. Um, what do you even call it? No counter attack opportunity for us there. I don't know why, but okay. Uh. Pass my player here. What can I do? Get this to him. Okay. To Ndidi. To whoever this is. Back to my player. And then make this pass. Oh, nothing. He's not able to get anything there. But can I get this to Daka? To Justin. Oh my god. That was so close. That was really good for our player there, to be honest, but we got two goals and we got the win for our team. All right, good match from the team there and good match from our player getting two goals to... That's probably still going to keep him at the top, if not anything. And what do you know, with that, we have completed all we need to be able to get a new contract from Leicester City. So if anything goes to shit, we know that we are for sure able to get... to continue next season in Leicester. All right, so poor manager performance. I don't know why. I don't know how, because we are literally at the top, but... Um, so just that the team are trying hard, but I don't understand the manager's tactics. That's a really shitty thing to do. Picks up a meeting with the boss to say you'd be blah blah blah. Say this boss who believes in what the coach is trying to do, obviously. That's what I'm going to go for there because I'm in heartbeat over at my over at May break. Pat my performance, pat myself on the back, obviously. Because, you know, why? I mean, it was all me that made us win that match there. Alright, so next up we have a match against Millwall. I'm going to jump to this result. I'm going to simulate the match and Hopefully we do get the win. No, we don't. That is a loss. Our first loss in a long time. So we have a match against Middlesbrough next. And this is a match at the top of the table. It's going to be second versus fourth. And they are about six points up, six points behind me, behind us, behind Leicester City. And well, it's a match that obviously I'm going to have to play. And we are 
it's looking like we are going to be able to win the match, so I really hope that is the case. Oh, apparently I have a place that locked, or that one of the slots unlocked, and that is good. So what do I even want from this? Unlock at 25% heartbeat. I guess I'm going... Okay, perform finish shots pass out with additional perp. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that one. That one is the most important to my player. Especially because he's a left winger, so I'm going to do a lot, a lot of those long shots. Um, a lot of those finesse long shots. So that one is the most important, so that's what I'm going for. Alright, so we're supposed to get a 9.0 match rating, get two goals or assists, and take three shots on target. So this is what, you know what, let's take three shots on target, let's enhance that one. So for us, I mean, we, should, we should be able to do that one. So let's hope that we have a really good game here. Alright, so we have a chance here, and we aren't able to find that guy. Okay, Pera, you got this? Yeah, you do got this. Alright. From Didi, good one there. Okay. Good, good passing. Whoa, what, 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 what? Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I called for the pass back, but he already passed it to me, and then my player just gave it away. Oh, that is this is the first time that shit is happening. So sad. Pass to me, please. Yeah. What can we do here? Thank you. That was that was impressive. That is the playstyle right there. That is the fucking playstyle right there. That was insane. What a goal by Lechenko. Damn. I mean, I wish I could see from that angle. Where, from the angle. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That was. I mean, it didn't really have that much curve in there, but like, it was still it was still really nice. Alright, so that's yeah another goal for us here. And yeah, this we've picked up in this episode. I mean we haven't won all, all of our matches, but I mean it's it's still really good that we are doing really well against Middlesbrough. Alright. Good interception from Dewsbury Hall. And can I don't think this guy's going to be able to get the ball to me. Yeah. It's not. But we have the ball now. And yeah, I, I, I tried to pass out to that. I don't know why it didn't work. But yeah, that was, that was that didn't look very good, did it? All right, long ball to Indy. Oh my God, such an idiot. <laughs> but that was good. But nothing came of it there. I mean, I didn't call for the pass or anything, but I probably should have. Made my way to that, to that no, tiny space. A chance for a counter attack here, so let's just hope that these guys actually get this and ball to my player. Delivery. They don't. Do they? They don't. How do you even misdirect that, Mr. Justin? Well, Alright, so we have something here. Just pass it to me. I'll do the rest. Thank you. To Patau, to Disbury Hall. Couldn't hang on to it. Okay. That was really dumb, but whatever. So we have... Alright, we don't have a chance there. It's already half time. Alright, so we're really close to our objectives. We have... Okay, we have just one shot on target. That's not very good. But we are almost at 9.0. And we are... Um... <clears throat> and we are... Uh, we have one goal. So... Let's just try and work on the shot. I mean, the team in general really hasn't had that many shots. Okay, so that was... Insane, and that was, yeah, we worked for that very well. We worked for that so well. We're going to be gritty here. <laughs> All right. We stole that off him, and we're able to make, to capitalize, that, to capitalize on that really well. People had no chance at all to score, to stop that, rather. It was, it was, a, really, it was a really good, really, really good um, goal. And we've actually scored both goals with like the finished shots. So we're scoring a lot more of those kind of goals lately. But I mean our player is gaining experience and shit like that. And, right, like just like that. Another one. Hat trick maybe. Oh my god, that was really stingy, but still. We were so close to a hat trick there. I can't even believe the keeper saved that. If I put it on the ground, I doubt he would have saved it though. Okay, good interception. Let's help them out here. No need for that anymore. So we are still on our way. Yeah, I think the attack is dead. Yeah, <laughs> it's dead. 
Okay. Making progress. Please, words. All right. So that was that was a great run for my player, and yeah, we are like we're doing really really well. Jimmy Body's coming in for patting that guy here, and. Who can he pick out? Well, he failed to get it away properly. I mean, have a hat trick. Well, that was that was a sweet shot, but the keeper was able to match that. All right, yeah, another corner, and if you pass it here. What happens? Nothing because my player fucks up the header. But that guy, come on! If you just run, you will get that. Okay, that was good. Thank you. Possible hat trick, maybe. Possible hat trick, maybe. Possible hat trick, maybe. Possible hat trick, maybe. All right, it's gone. That's has to be so much there. Ah, uh, crap. I mean, we did really well there, but we've had a lot of shots on target, so... Yeah. Yet another match that we have carried for the team again. Another 2-0 win, and we have done really, really well here. So let's look at our objective. Let's see what we did get. I don't see how many shots we actually had in this match. And then we'll go back to the rest of the games that we have to play. It's 10.0. We had six shots on target. Conversion of 33%. That's not very good. Which means we had a lot of shots. But I didn't see the last one there, but whatever. I just watched a bunch of the highlights and I noticed that our players um, finishing is really not that great. And the one that did go in is just because the keeper was... We caught the keeper off his position, off his line and stuff. Rather, misposition, basically. He wasn't off his line yet. So, our objectives, by the way, we're supposed to get three. We have we it to four and we got six. We got two goals right on, on the mark and we got a 10 points match rating. Happy birthday, don't know what your plans are, but I hope you have a really good time. Also, today's birthday, I, I, I can't even remember um, what date I put for that, but I mean, that's not really any of my business. But birthday preparations, a birthday to remember. Um, you get your teammates together to celebrate your birthday. Um, the Maverick one is booking a nightclub and getting invites out to every celebrity you know, that's dumb. I, I wouldn't do that at all. And you invite family and close friends around to celebrate your birthday. I think I'm going to go with the teammates one for this year. And um, yeah. So high match performance, obviously, we did really well in that match on our own. And then for Christmas, you make the biggest bid for some sports memorabilia in an auction of the no, I don't want to do that. Um you have a day of or spending buying gifts for your own family and friends. I think I think that's what I'm going to do. And we have 15 goals in 22 matches. That is really great for a first season. This episode has come back to life, has brought our player back to life. And I really like it. All right, we have Ipswich, we have QPR, and then we have Blackboard Rovers to end the episode. Match against Ipswich ends 3-1. We scored the goal, then Daka and Patal will score after us. We go up against QPR next in our stadium, and sadly we lose the match. I don't know how that happened, but that's exactly what happened. And lastly, we draw against um, Blackburn Rovers. Do we score? Yes, we do get a goal in this match, but sadly, the team drew the match thanks to Dakar though. So three games, we won one, we lost one, and we drew the last one. So that's not really good for the team. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure Leeds United has pulled further away from us, but what I'm even scared right now is if we have even dropped out from that second place position. So Leeds United have actually pulled away. They are now 11 points ahead of us. That is bad. And then Southampton is now really hot on our tail with just two points behind us. So if we lose our next match and they win theirs, it's going to be really bad for us. We have the match against Stoke City coming up next, and uh, that's going to be the next episode. Though. So this is the end of the episode. Patrick Bamford is really, really chasing us, though, to be honest. We're still joint top scorer in the championship with 17 goals each, although he does have 23 of um, two matches less than I do. But anyways, this is the end of the episode. We have 12 skill points available that we're going to use at the beginning of next episode. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified of when I drop new videos. I'm going to be posting FC24 content every single day. Drop comments on what you think about the series so far and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Oh,